This nature reserve is part of the succulent Karoo biome, a globally recognized biodiversity hotspot that stretches from Namibia into South Africa's Western Cape province. Many of the rare plant species that grow here are found nowhere else on Earth. Over the past four years, South African succulents have become part of a rampant illegal trade. In our experience, um, the levels of poaching that we're seeing now um, is, is unprecedented. The uptick in succulent poaching has led the International Union for the Conservation of Nature to update the number of the plants on its red list of threatened species. These plants are being pushed to the verge of extinction and those plants won't return by themselves, not in our lifetime anyways. We, we've never seen this um, volume of, of plants that's been harvested from the wild. Um, and, and some of these plants are hundreds and hundreds of years old, and so we're losing, you know, thousands of years of plant growth. Succulent poaching is often run by the same criminal syndicates involved in endangered wildlife trafficking, according to WWF South Africa, which is coordinating efforts to combat the poaching. Some 242,000 succulents were seized by law enforcement last year alone. Botanists are trying to save the confiscated endangered plants. Experts say trafficking skyrocketed during the pandemic with people shut up at home and influencers who dubbed themselves plant moms and dads posting videos on social media about their houseplants sparking a trend. I think we, we, we're getting into the age of grow, having plants in our houses and we want something cute and something easy growing, something that's not going to die. Um, succulents are very resilient. Most of the poached plants are intended for the Chinese market, according to officials from Cape Nature, a South African government body. Many of the illegal succulents are sent overseas through the mail, disguised as food items or even children's toys. They then put up for sale on platforms like China's WeChat. While the international syndicates are making large profits, the impoverished locals doing the poaching get paid little. The succulent Karoo is a very vast, very arid landscape and there are very limited economic opportunities. Adrian Robertson is a farmer trying to convince others not to cooperate with the syndicates. I'm trying to chat to the farm workers because that's what the guys are using. They're using local guys who know the areas really well. The conservationists can only hope all their efforts will pay off because if these plants, a huge food source for pollinators, were to disappear, it would be devastating for the entire Karoo ecosystem. Kate Bartlett for VA News, The Little Karoo, South Africa.